Mr. Lionfish. It was the trip of a lifetime. You cannot hide from us any longer. For ocean expert and former journalist George Schellinger on what he says was the first Ocean Gate sub almost 10 years ago to the day. You're not scared of having a giant sub on top of them. No. 500 feet underwater in this yellow submarine, he took a trip off the coast of Fort Lauderdale looking for lionfish. The pilot on that trip, Ocean Gate founder and CEO Stockton Rush. Being able to go down there in the environment and you see the excitement, it's like a little kid in a candy store. Speaking to Schellinger in an interview from 2013 after their trip. Being able to hear and see and feel the entire environment is something you can't duplicate. This was a, a, a passionate guy. I mean, he, they called it the deep disease, which is the deeper you go underwater, the deeper you want to go. Rush, just one of five people on board the missing sub Titan, now presumed dead, according to the Coast Guard, after the sub suffered a catastrophic implosion. At that depth, the, the margin of error is so small. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear, topside. We're on bottom, 150 feet. Challenger tells me he has gone on four submarine trips, exploring and documenting what's beneath the deep blue sea, never thinking what happened recently could ever happen. It's, it's sad. Um, you, you know, you, you think about it, but these, but again, and, and this is the kind of way I feel when, when I'm, when I'm doing underwater work, it's what I want to do. And, and I know it's not an average job, but it's trips like this that provide a lens to underwater exploration that people on land would otherwise never see. There is a price to be paid for kind of exploring whether, whether it's space, ocean, and, and we need people like that to do this. They're pushing it for the rest of us. They, they're pushing these boundaries for the rest of us to be able to explore as well. A decade later, it still holds true. I believe that for the next 50, 100 years, this is what mankind will do. It will figure out what's going on in the oceans. Brianna Nusbra, WPTV News Channel 5.